whatever the approval or release strategy that you have configured in your like you know, system accordingly the system will determine the approval workflow so as we can see as a part of the slp process like once we created this supply request so after that we have to go basically for the approval of the supply request so this approval of the supply request is something optional or i would say in the production system it's mandatory but in the demo system that is the optional so sometimes you may see in some cases you may not have the approval workflow and in some cases you may see in the demo site you may have the approval workflow as well so whenever like you know that you will have the approval workflow so what system will do system will trigger one notification to the your supplier manager like you should that supervisor like uh like uh, of you so who is supervisor like in your team he will receive this notification that notification and they have to approve that particular supplier so once they will receive the notification so then basically they have to go like you know in that like, like a supplier request so whenever the supplier manager that is basically called as the supplier manager so when the supplier manager he will receive notification so they, he will he has to log in on the sap ariba and once he will log in then he has to navigate to this like you know that there is a different tab click on this mode and they have to choose this option as the supplier manager so they have to click on the supplier management and once he will click then like your know, system will deliver the list of supplier like whatever supplier onboarding is going on so whatever supplier onboarding is in progress all the supply information will be available here so as of now we can see we have only one supplier that onboarding is going on that is the hp carbons so they have to basically they will be able to see this particular supplier then they have to click on the view and once they will click on the view and if approval process is configured in your system they will have the option of the approve and deny here so in this case approval workflow is not configured so that is why we can see it's automatically approved so automatically approved in the sense in sap ariba there is no approval process okay but in the production system that uh, the supply manager they have to review all the information and after review the information they will have the two buttons here approve and deny and whatever option he want to like you know perform like if he want to approve he can approve or if he want to deny he, he can deny as well yeah but in these cases we do not have the any approval process that is why we can see it is showing as this like you know this is fully approved okay so here we can see even though the supply record is approved this supply request is fully approved but we can see still we do not have the any supplier number here yeah now to find out the supplier number that we have to basically click on this view supplier profile so when we click on this view supplier profile then like you know we'll have that information about the supplier and you will able to see that means basically supplier manager he will able to see the supplier information now we can see like you know this supplier we have created and what the supplier record number we can see the supplier record number is this sm vendor id so this vendor id sm vendor id which means like supplier management vendor id this is something standard or if you want to configure the number ranges like how basically we are configuring number ranges in our sap mm so similarly we will not be able to configure here and we have to reach out to our aripa share service team that means our uh, aripa company and they will basically like you know that uh, configure the number range but in most of the cases you may see the same number range you will have the, like you know the number range is starting with the s series that is the standard out of box okay now apart from this we can see the other information as well whatever information we added there's something information we can see here and also we can see different status like what is the registration status not invited what is the qualification status not qualified erp integration status not integrated so if you will have the integration with the backend sap system in that case you have the option to integrate your ariba solutions that is slp solutions with your backend sap system that means with sap mm and whatever supply record supply request you have created here in the slp same supply request will supply record will also be available in the backend sap system so in that case if you have the integration you will have the information here integrated or not integrated okay apart from that we can see some other information these are basically very basic you can navigate from your site as well so this will give some in some uh, like you know, additional information now in the next we have the registration here 
So if you see the process flow of the SLP, so we have done these two processes like creating supply request and approval of the supply request. Thank you.